boys and girls. Miss Bond here with our second read aloud. I am so excited to do this one. It is called Double Trouble in Walla Walla. Um, this book has always made me laugh. It's full of tongue twisters and just silly words. And so um, I figured it'd be really fun. Um, I feel like we all need a good laugh. So um, I do have permission from Scholastic to read this book. And it is by Andrew Clements, and it's illustrated by Salvatore Murdoca. All right, let's get started. Bear with me, because this has a lot of crazy tongue twisters in it. It was an ordinary Monday morning in Walla Walla until Lulu raised her hand in class. Miss Bell, I feel like a nitwit. My homework's all higgly piggly, and last night it was in tip top shape, but now it's a big mishmash. Miss Bell said, Nitwit? Higgly piggly? Mishmash? Lulu, stop that flip flop chitter chatter, or you'll be in double trouble. Lulu said, But I'm not trying to flip flop chit chat. I just have a nitty bitty problem with my homework. Miss Bell scowled. All right for you, Lulu, if you're going to shilly shally and dilly dally with all this fancy schmancy yik yak, then we will just have to trot trot down to the principal's office. Miss Bell hurried Lulu down the hall and they burst into the principal's office. And there's the students are out there talking in the hallway. They're saying, my, my, he, he. Yak, yak, blah, blah, looky, looky, shh, shh. And then the teacher is saying, come, come. Miss Thomas, oh, Mr. Thomas says, what's all the hubbub about? Miss Bell said, Lulu's been trying to razzle dazzle me with some kind of lippity loppity jibber jabber, and now I'm all helter skelter myself. Mr. Thomas raised his eyebrows. Tut, tut, sounds like a silly willy hocus pocus to me. Miss Bell's mouth dropped open. She pointed to the principal and said, Eka Frika, Lulu's got your tongue all topsy-turvy too. Now, now, don't get the gym jams, Miss Bell. Let's give a nurse a yoo-hoo. Mr. Thomas picked up the phone and said, Mrs. Carter, I'm going to pitter-patter over to your office, okie-dokie. Eka Frika, okie-dokie. Ooh, my book's falling. <laughs> All three went across the hall to the nurse's office. Mr. Thomas said, Howdy doody, Mrs. Carter. We're a little wacko wacko. Lulu's got us all talking the sing song clap trap like we're cuckoo. Mrs. Carter smiled at Lulu and said, Fiddle faddle. Lulu and I are palsy wowsy. She want to try that kind of phony baloney tutti fruity flim flam. We should say all the root and toot and crink and crank and wooly bully words we can think of. Maybe that will clear the air and close the warp. Worth a try? asked Nurse Carter. Mr. Thomas said, aye, aye. Mrs. Bell said, let's do -si do And Lulu said, uh-huh. Nurse Carter closed the door to her office. Then she turned around and said, Lulu, let's get this harem scarum show on the road. Lulu stood right up and blurted out, Ticky tacky, knick knack, coochie coochie coo, hubba bubba, roger dodger, ooey gooey goo. Mrs. Carter cleared her throat and said, Hugger mugger hob knob, pit a patter, bon bon, wishy washy, squish squash, handy dandy mishmash. Mr. Thomas closed his eyes and started slowly but picked up speed. Eensy, beansy, choo, choo, teeny, tiny, hurdy, gurdy, roly, poly, rag, tag, hurly, burly, riff, raff, rumble, tumble, hip, hop, teeny, weeny, pop, top, namby, pamby, hippy, dippy, hoity, toity, ha, shot. And then Mrs. Bell stood up and took a deep breath. Put, put, vroom, vroom, honk, honk, zoom, zoom, zig, zack, clank, clank, slam, bam, fender, bender, ringy, dingy, clean, clang, ring a ding, boing, boing, ring a ling, zing, zing, bing, bang, boom, never, never, wig, wham, turkey, lurky, tom, tom, tootsie, wootsie, tittle, tattle, tee, hee, hee. Gotta catch my breath after that one. <laughs> And then, without warning, words flooded the air. 
fuzzy wuzzy fuddy duddy loosey goosey lovey dovey kissy kissy huggy huggy rinka dinka do gaga ra ra go go so so fru fru goo goo poo poo woo woo rinky dinky arf arf argy bargy woof woof boogie woogie bow wow super duper pooper scooper clippity cloppity hippity hoppity clickety clackety rickety rackety blah 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 ha 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 Hee-ha, tweet, tweet, chirp, chirp, cheep, ch- cluck, cluck, quack, quack, yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> Bozo, yo-yo, heyday, mayday, hokey-pokey, hanky-panky, goody-goody, yum-yum, yummy-yummy, tum-tum, gimme-gimme, gobble-gobble, jelly-belly, dum-dum, voodoo, voodoo, moo-moo, poo-poo, clang-clang, ying-ying, ching-ching, wing-ding, pow-wow, kow-tow, peg-leg, jet-set, shoulda, coulda, woulda, better had a audit, ship shape, some pump, achy breaky doo da fee fee my my rag bag tie dye beep beep ho ho pa pa dodo rooter toot zoot suit looky looky local yoko georgie porgy hunka munka henny penny humpty dumpty and then suddenly silence Lulu, Miss Bell, and Mr. Thomas slumped into the chairs, and Miss Carter flopped onto the cot against the wall. Was it over? Nobody dared to speak. Lulu whispered, Miss Carter, may I have a drink of water? Miss Carter sat up and said, Of course you may, dear. Miss Bell smiled weakly at the principal and said, You were magnificent, sir. Mr. Thomas perked up and smiled at everyone. At everyone. He straightened his tie and said, I think we've done it, people. Mrs. Carter sat down at her desk and went back to checking over her posture records. Mr. Thomas walked across the hall to his office and went back to the letter he was writing. Lulu followed Mrs. Bell down the hallway and soon had her English homework all straightened out. And after English, it was just an ordinary Monday in Walla Walla. Ta-ta, Lulu. Bye-bye, Miss Ding Dong. That one always makes me laugh. I hope that you guys were able to laugh at my my tongue-tied reading of that tongue twister book. Um, and I hope you guys are having an excellent, safe time at home. All right, have a good day. Bye.